Money, money, money. It's not funny if you don't have enough of it. So financial freedom, financial security, being wealthy, if that's something that you want in your life, and I'll rephrase that, if you don't have it, is it possible that you could be more stressed, that you argue more with your partner, that you have more challenges in your life? Because is it possible that money isn't about the money, money's about freedom, freedom to be able to do all the things that you want to do and live your life the way that you want to live it. And I always use the example, if you're wealthy, you can have a private jet or travel by helicopter, or you can just have a great bike to ride, or you can live somewhere where you don't have to travel at all and just walk everywhere, but that's called freedom. Uh, God forbid something happens to you uh, and you're overseas, if you're really wealthy, you can hire a private jet to get home. Uh, you don't have to wait for the commercial flight if there's not a seat, what do you do? Uh, you, can have a, you can live in a tent if you're wealthy, uh, or you can live in a mansion, but you get to choose. And isn't that what life should be about, freedom and choice? Now, one of the interesting things behind me is green grass that isn't on my property, and our property is all brown. And the reason for that is that the green grass behind me is a very large dairy farm, a very successful dairy farm uh, that has irrigation. Now, irrigation is very expensive, but they don't have to have brown grass because they've got millions of dollars worth of uh, irrigation to make sure that their cows can eat green grass. I'm sharing that with you because that's a choice because a lot of farmers at the moment in this particularly in this area who are really challenged because they haven't got the millions of dollars to put in the irrigation systems so they've got to come up with other ideas because the grass is brown and the animals still have to be fed. So what I love for everybody is freedom and choice and that's something when I was a little girl and I always share this I decided that I wanted to be healthy fit and strong for the rest of my life have a career or business that I love, to be financially free, because the people in my life used to argue and yell and scream about money, and I hated it. I hated hearing money, 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 and it was always an ugly thing because there was not enough of it. I also wanted to have great relationships, and I saw what happened in a relationship if there wasn't enough money. So I set a goal at a very young age to make sure that I was financially free. So why am I sharing that with you? How do you become financially free, of course, is the next question. And there's two parts to this. Number one is, surely it's not about the money, because we don't even use money anymore. Money is very rare that you use cash. It's just a transaction of numbers between one bank account to another bank account, from the bank to the shop, from the shop to, the, to your bank account for your wages. It is, it, it's not even a real thing anymore. But that transaction of numbers is what gives us freedom. So how do you get that? So what if you are focusing on the money, not on how to make the money? So if you're constantly chasing money, is it possible that's stalking? Uh, and it has been suggested that if you want to make money, you should go where the money is, which is in the bank. So then if money is really important to you, actual money is important to you, to have numbers in a bank account, then perhaps go and work for a financial institution. But if you want the ability to live free, woohoo, exactly the way that you want to live, could it be a really good idea not to focus on the money, but to focus on what brings you the money? And that's what I did at a very, a very I was a little girl, and I learned this, the, the, the circle of life to me is what I call it, the sweet spot, which is do what you're passionate about, keep getting better and better at it. So train, education, learn, better, 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 so that you can add massive value to people's lives. And that circle, that circle of life, that sweet spot, if you live in the middle of that, do what you love, keep getting better at it, add massive value to people's lives, that automatically brings wealth. If you think about that, it's just common sense and logic. If I love what I do, if I keep getting better at it, and if what I'm doing adds massive value to other people's lives, then I'm going to make money. And I always use the simple example of sports people. There are plenty of sports people, that they love it, and they want to keep getting better at it, uh, and they want to add massive value to people's lives, uh, and they're usually the ones that are very successful. The ones that think they're really good but stop training or they don't train as hard or they don't put 100% effort into their training, or perhaps they're not as skilled. Now, that's a, that's a luck thing. But I'll go a step further with that. There's a lot of people who don't have the skill to play the sport, but they end up managing the team, owning the team, being the trainer for the team, being the marketing person for the team. So they're still doing what they're absolutely passionate about. Uh, they keep learning and training and getting better at it and they're adding massive value to the team, so they earn millions of dollars. And they don't do it for the money, they do it because they love it. And I think that's the most important thing. And that's over my many years of living on the planet. All the wealthy people I know, all the wealthy people I know that have made 
their money by themselves, they haven't in, inherited it or they didn't win lotto. Uh, they, that's exactly how they lived their life. They did what they were passionate about, they keep getting better at it and they add massive value to people's lives. So that's, that's not just for rich people because they didn't start off rich. They started off bu busted, broken, poor and, and broke and they just applied that simple system to becoming wealthy. Now the next part of that of course is uh, do I have to be good at something? Do I have to work hard? And wealth is not going to fall out of the sky in a pretty pink box. It doesn't come by luck. Now some people say well you get lucky because you win lotto. but that's not true either, is it? Because you have to buy a ticket. I'm never going to win lotto because I don't buy lottery tickets. So I'm never going to be lucky enough to win lotto because I don't buy the ticket. I don't go to the shop and buy it. So you have to put yourself in the position to be lucky uh, or you have to be in the right place at the right time and that happened for them because they were lucky. Well, you had to put yourself in the right place at the right time. But here's what I do know and this is where this farming thing is really interesting because I talk to the, the rural folks all the time now. If you want to make money in farming, even if you don't own the farm, you've got to add massive value to the farm. You've got to be passionate about farming. You've got to keep learning, training, getting better and educating yourself at farming. And that will then add massive value to the farm, which will make the farm more successful. I agree, Bentley. And then you will make more money. And that's a simple process. Even if you work for somebody else, you can become very valuable to the business and make lots of money. And I'm a living, breathing example of that. I've never owned a business. Well, I, I, sorry, I'll rephrase that. I've never started a business. Uh, I'm not an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. I go into other people's businesses and help make them successful. Uh, but I had to learn how to do that. And I've worked my ass off every day of my life. But when I say worked my ass off, I have never worked either because when you love what you do, it doesn't feel like work. It feels like doing something that you love to do, so you just keep doing it. I use an example uh, when I first started working in health clubs, and I was only the first, my first managing a health club, I was only 18. And I took myself off to a management conference, I took myself off to America to learn how to uh, A, run health clubs and B, run a gym and be successful at running gyms. I paid for my airfare, I paid for my accommodation, I paid for the conference. The owners of the health club were very surprised that I would do that. Why are you spending your own money? Because I want to take those skills with me and I want to be responsible for my success. Now I'm getting excited because we haven't had free water out of the sky for a really long time. And I think you can tell by the wind that we're going to get some if we're very very privileged so maybe we're going to get some green grass now that's luck I can't uh, make water fall out of the sky these guys over there though because they're financially free their business is very successful they have green grass because of their irrigation system and I share that with you because a lot of people whinge moan and complain about not having enough money to do the things that they want to do but is it possible that they're not prepared to do the things it takes to become successful in business in their career. I just want to work nine to five Monday to Friday. I don't know any wealthy people that just do that. Now, maybe they've put themselves in it. I don't know anybody personally. Everybody I know does what they absolutely love. So they do seven days every, every day, every week of the year because they love it. And they don't go on holidays. And if they do go on holidays, very few of them do, they hate it because they want to get back to their business because that's what they love to do. And that's what I wish for everybody. That's what Romax is here for every day. Be healthy, fit and strong so you can enjoy your life. Have a career or business that you're absolutely passionate about so it doesn't feel like work. And then you want to keep getting better at it so you will be financially free. It's a pretty simple process. So if you're prepared, and, and, and I, I hate saying this because if you're prepared to do the hard work, it's not hard work because when you're doing what you love, it doesn't feel like hard work. The top sports people in the world don't hate the training. They love the training because it makes them better at what they do. So whatever you're doing in your life, if you want to have a career or business that you love, be successful, be financially free, you can be. And wouldn't it be awesome to wake up every day singing, I love my life. And if I'm very privileged, there's going to get some, we are going to get some free water out of the sky. Woohoo! Green grass row is out. Yay! Woohoo!